WinCC V8 step-by-step, -step, viewing your runtime application in a browser with the Web UX option. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can view your WinCC runtime application in a browser such as Chrome or Edge. You will need the option WinCC Web UX installed in order to do this video with me, or you can just watch and see how it's done. So you can see we have the same interfaces as we do in runtime. It just happens to be deployed in a browser. So your operator stations could be a lot simpler using browser interfaces to the process instead of having a full client server. So if you're interested, keep watching. We're going to start in WinCC Explorer and I'll highlight Graphics Designer. And this is going to show all my screens, obviously. And what we need to do is we need to mark all of these web enabled. And that is a property on the PDL. But one thing you can do is just select these here and right click. And a lot of people don't know that this menu is here, but I can just say activate web enabled. And what that will do is it will go on each PDL and it will set the property web enabled on that. Now you can also do that one by one in graphics designer. This is a quick and dirty way to do this. So once we've done that, we need to make sure that these pages are compatible with web UX. And what I mean by that is not all controls that we can use in graphics designer will work with web UX. So if you go the help section and look under options we have web ux and there is a folder function supported in web ux and one of the things i'll point out here is only svg libraries are supported now i know on my overview screen i was using the siemens hmi symbol library those are not supported so i've gone and kind of changed those but they also give you details on all the different objects and which ones work which ones don't work a lot of these things work but there's a few methods or properties that don't work with web UX so you can go and kind of look at these at your leisure the way that you can check is we'll simply open graphics designer I'll start with the admin page if you want to check if it is compatible with web UX and I'll open the properties dialog if you look under miscellaneous here's your web enabled you can see it's set to yes if you want to see if there's anything on here that does not work in web UX all you have to do is just save the picture and if there's a problem the output window will pop up and it will show you errors so here we don't have any errors that is okay we can go look at say detail which we've got some faceplate instances so I'll hit save and looks like everything's okay Really the one that is not okay, I saved my overview screen as overview old, but I'll show you what happens. See, these have all these Siemens HMI symbol libraries. So when you save this, it will tell you for each of these controls, these are not compatible. So if you were to go look at this through a browser using Web UX, you would just have big unknown objects here. So what I did was I refactored that page and we'll look at the new improved overview. And what we've done is we have used the new SVG library, or it's kind of relatively new. So these are really efficient graphics and they, they're good for HTML5. They work in web technologies. They don't have all of the features. For instance, like for pumps and stuff, you can't make them blink like you can ActiveX controls. So we kind of got around that. Basically, I had to replace all of those. So now if I save this, and look at my output window, you can see that there are no errors. So all of our pages are now compatible with Web UX. The next thing that we need to do is go in the user administration editor. And for each of your users, once you have Web UX and Web Navigator installed, you will see these options. And since you're using a browser, you're not going to use your standard log on button. The browser has a page to do that. So for engineer, and for operator, we're going to make these users available to Web UX, and then we're going to assign them a start screen. So we're going to give them both main. And of course, you could give them completely separate start pictures, however you want. Same thing with Web Navigator or your client server clients. Now we have users that can use this. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go into our WinCC Web Configuration Center. And this works for both Web Navigator and Web UX. We want to configure our Web UX site, so I'll just check that and hit Next. It's going to make a website named Web UX. We want it to be HTTPS, and you can just go ahead and create a new certificate. We are going to call that certificate 
web UX just to kind of make it easy to find. It will create a self-signed certificate. And in our next video, we are going to talk about the certificate manager. So you're probably going to want to watch that one. So here, this will create our SSL certificate. And then I will just hit finish. And it always asks us about the log file. If everything went okay, I'm not really worried about it. Now, the next thing we want to do is just open up Internet Information Services. And once that opens up, just expand the server, expand your sites. You'll see your Web UX website. You can right click and do edit bindings and select your protocol. And here you'll see it did create this certificate and assign it. So we can just close that. So next, I am going to go back to WinCC Explore, and I'm going to make sure that runtime is active. It is. I'm logged in. I've got some good data here. It's my detail screen. Here's my overview screen. So if we want to see Web UX, I will just open Edge, and I'll type in the name of my computer. I am going to put in the same username and password that I created in User Administrator. You can see it does show my same start screen that I assigned to this user. Looks like I've got to do a little bit of adjusting for my resolution, but we can check our pop-ups. We can start and stop our pumps. We can open and close our valves and look at our detail screen, see our face plates are working, our administration screen. You can see we got a couple of alarms here. So it basically looks just like WinCC Runtime, but it is in a browser. Now we are using a self-signed certificate. So if we try the same thing in Chrome, I'm just going to look at localhost and notice it says it's not secure, but it's still going to let us log in. It sees the certificate, but since it's self-signed, it doesn't really trust it. And you can fix this locally by going and just installing that certificate in your trusted certificate store. But the better way to fix this is create a certificate authority. So in the next video, we will be talking about the WinCC Certificate Manager, where we can create a certificate authority for your plant, which will allow you to deploy secure plant communications for your SCADA application.